All right, if you're looking to get in the Edwell County Pretrial Diversion Program for a DUI, I'm going to go over what exactly that is in this video. First, what is pretrial diversion? So in pretrial diversion, you plead guilty, the court finds you guilty, and they take your guilty plea and they move it to the side. So at this point, they have you found guilty, um, and then they allow you to complete this program. If you complete the program and do everything that you're supposed to do, then the court will then take that guilty plea, rip it up, and dismiss your case. So pretrial diversion gives you an opportunity to have the case dismissed without having to go to trial. Um, in some forms, it is a uh, sure bet than a trial since we never know what's going to happen at trial, even if we have good facts. So You've just entered pretrial diversion. After you've taken your plea, you've gone to court, what happens next? You've got four responsibilities. One is CRO or color code. Um, you've got pay money, you've got interlock, and you've got to attend review dates. We're going to go over each of those in detail. First is CRO. So within seven days of taking your plea, you've got to sign up with CRO. And here's the phone number right here. Here is the address. So within seven days, you need to get over there. Um, if you need time to get clean, wait closer to that seventh day, because if you show up dirty, it's going to put you up on a higher level. So the first um, court or first meeting with CRO, they'll do an assessment. Okay, And this assessment is what kind of drug or alcohol problem do you have? And then they'll assign you either one, two, or three. Um, so whether you do one, two, or three will govern how long you're in the program and how often you have to test. Um, you could do anything from monthly monitoring, which is just once a month and you know the date to show up, or have to do color code, which is random drug testing. And the link could be anywhere from three months to 12 months. Um, in your assessment, they'll ask you questions like how, how often do you smoke pot? How often do you drink alcohol? Um, have you used other drugs? How often do you use other drugs? Um, you know, keep in mind based on your answers is what level they're going to put you on. Okay. Um, other things they'll take into account is whether you blew, whether um, what, how high you blew, whether you've been on, been on CRO before. Those are other things they take into account in deciding what level you'll be on. Next, a lot of money to be paid. So in Etowah County, the district attorney fee up front is $500. So you'll have to pay that to the DA. Um, I should have taken you down there to uh, see where you pay that. You can work a um, payment plan with them. Also, in order to have your case dismissed, you've got to pay court costs. You won't pay that until the end, but the court costs are going to be approximately $485. You'll have interlock fees. There's a cost to install it. You'll have monthly monitoring fees. Um, you'll have to pay $150 for your interlock driver's license. So you'll get a new driver's license. Um, $275 to reinstate your license after the case is over. You'll have monitoring fees. Monitoring is $30 a month plus a drug test. $25 if not on color code. $50 if on color code. Late $10 to monitor and $10 for color code. Next, it interlock steps. So after you have pled, you need to install the ignition interlock in your car within 10 days. So these are the places to call. Smart Start with this number or Lifesaver. One's Boaz Albertville and one's Gadsden. After installation of the ignition interlock, you need to take the certificate of installation um, and take that to your closest Department of Public Safety reinstatement office. Our closest one is in Jacksonville. And you use that to obtain the interlock driver's license. Again, you're going to have to pay money to get that. Um, you're then going to have to take proof of the installation and the interlock license to the Etowah County Clerk's Office within 30 days upon installation of ignition interlock. Um, and you will pay $75 to the Edwell County Clerk's Office. Um, and then you must have the ignition interlock installed for a minimum of six months or the duration of the program, whichever is greater. So what do you need to get do to get it removed? Uh, I still have here 
the eleven hundred dollar free trial fee. That's actually it's five hundred dollars for Etowah County. Um, you got to have CRO completed, court costs paid in the clerk's office, um, your interlock completed. Upon completion, you need to let the Etowah County Clerk's Office know and request a copy of clearance from the judge. A copy of clearance will then be provided to you to have the interlock removed. You'll then go back to Jacksonville to reinstate your previous driver's license. You'll also have review dates where the court will make sure you're paying your money and you've got your interlock set up, you haven't had any issues with the interlock, um, and things of that sort.